Lesson 7.2, we're going to talk about quarters as U.S. coins. A quarter is a U.S. coin that has the value of 25 cents. President George Washington, the first president, is on the front. And on the back is an American bald eagle, the national bird. It's standing on a shaft of arrows over two olive branches. So a quarter, this is the front, is worth 25 cents, and here's its back. And we learned in video 7.1 that a dime, that's the front, that's the back, has the value of 10 cents. A nickel, here's the front, here's the back, has a value of 5 cents. And a penny has the value of 1 cent. From 1999 to 2008, the United States Mint released quarters for the 50 U.S. states. And George Washington is on the front. A different state design is on the back with the year of that state's statehood. We count quarters by 25s. One quarter is equal to 25 cents. Two quarters is 50 cents. Three quarters is 75 cents and four quarters is 100 cents. That would be 100 cents for the total value of four quarters. One quarter is 25 cents. If we have two quarters, we add 25 plus 25. We have five cents and five cents, that's 10 cents. We regroup it, put a zero in the one cent place. We have two, four, and one more is five, that's 50 cents. Two quarters is equal to 50 cents. If we have three quarters, we're doing 25 plus 25 plus 25. We can skip count by fives, five, 10, 15. We regroup and put a five down here. We count two, four, six, and one more is seven. We remember our cent sign. Three quarters is equal to 75 cents. And Four quarters, well, we can look at it as if 25 and 25 is 50, then we have 50 and 50, which is 100. We can also skip count 5, 10, 15, 20. We regroup two tens and put a zero down. Then we skip count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's 100 cents, and we remember to put the cent symbol. So one quarter is 25 cents. Two quarters is 50 cents, three quarters is 75 cents, and four quarters is equal to 100 cents. When we count quarters, we count by 25s. When we count dimes, we count by tens. When we count nickels, we count by fives. And when we count pennies, we count by ones. And when counting coins, we start with the greatest value coins and count on. Here we have a collection of coins, and it's telling us to count on to find the total value. And we start with the greatest value coin first. That's a quarter. It's 25 cents. We need to add a dime. A dime is 10 cents. We have 25 plus 10. We have one more 10 than 25. We have 35 cents now. And we have some penny, pennies that we're going to count on by one. We have 35. Now we have 36. Now we have 37. That means the total value is 37 cents. And we make sure that we write the cent sign after the number. Here it's telling us to count on to find the total value. We have one two quarters. One quarter is 25 cents. Do you know what two quarters would be? If we added these together, do you remember? If you said 50 cents, you're right. Two quarters is 50 cents. We remember our cent sign. So now with these two, we're at 50 cents. We're going to add a dime. That's 10 cents. We need 10 cents more than 50 cents. That would be 
60 cents so far. Now we're going to add 5 cents, 5 cents, and 5 cents. We can put the 5 and 5 together as a 10 and just add 10 more to this one. 60 cents plus 5 cents would be 65 cents. And 5 more would be 70 cents. But if we counted these two together as a 10, we could have just gone from 60 cents to 70 cents. See? Now we're going to add another nickel. That's another 5 cents. So now from 70, we're at 75 cents, which means the total value is 75 cents. And we remember to use the cent symbol so we know we're talking about money and we're writing about money. Sarah has a coin that has the same value as two nickels. What is her coin? Do you, know, do you know which coin would have the same value as two nickels? If you said dime, you're right. Two nickels would be 10 cents and a dime is 10 cents. Now it says Tala has a coin that has the same value as five nickels. What is her coin? Do you know what her coin could be? It's just a coin. That means it's one coin. If you said quarter, you're right. A nickel is five cents. We can skip count to five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. That would be 25 cents. That would be a quarter. It's telling us to match the coin name to its value. So we have to connect the dots to the correct value. A penny, do you know which value a penny has? If you said one cent, you're right. We're gonna draw a line from here to here. A nickel, do you know the value of a nickel? If you said five cents, you're right. We're gonna draw a line down to here. What about a dime? What value does a dime have? If you said 10 cents, you're right. We're gonna draw a line going up here. So what value does a quarter have? Well, we can see we only have one choice left, but we do know that a quarter has the value of 25 cents. It's telling us to circle the name of a coin to answer the question. The first question says, which coin has the same value as five pennies and one nickel? Do you know, is it a quarter, a dime, a nickel, or a penny that has the same value as five pennies and one nickel? Well, a nickel is five cents and Pennies are one cent each, and we have five of them. That means we have five plus five, that's 10. And the dime has a value of 10 cents. So if you said dime, you're correct. This one says, which coin has the same value as one dime and 15 pennies? We think one dime is 10 cents, then we have 15 cents. So which coin has a value of 10 cents plus 15 cents? 10 cents plus 15 cents is 25 cents. If you said quarter, you're right. A quarter is 25 cents. So you can get some play money and practice counting coins, or you can make your own play money and write one cent, five cent, 10 cents, 25 cents, on each little piece of paper to show the value of the coin you made. Our next lesson, 7.3, we're gonna count collections of coins. We're gonna practice some more. Have a really good day. I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.